Mm. Hello, 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 and mm. welcome to mm. the Rag Company podcast, oh where gosh. the boys are sipping oh. some delicious drinks, mm. and oh. I mm. made a title this morning thinking it was going to be true, and now it feels like a lie. Well, and Dane, I we all very know you sad. lie. That's like the one thing that you do yeah, all the time. that's what I'm known for. Well, well, also, as Yoshi I have a lot of Catholic out, guilt, stuff. Right, yeah. so I don't right. lie at all. You yeah. have a lot. I was raised Catholic, 12 years Catholic school. And I have a lot of Catholic guilt. I was as baptized a Catholic. Catholic. Right. Wow. So as to the two real Catholics in the room, we have a lot of Catholic guilt. Yeah. Dane doesn't, mm. though, because that's one of the things that he was, uh, was that, it was bred out of you? Well, you don't no, have actually, to worry about that. You know, I, I'm famously, just... I always feel guilty for things, <laughs> even if I haven't done them. I always just have this sense of, so, like, I hope everything's okay. Which Dane is a terrible actually thing do, to You, you do. just be a you jerk actually to everybody do. Dane, at all times. Dane does feel really <laughs> bad. He feels really bad about putting that out, and he, he's reminded us many, many times. So, Dan, now, it wasn't your fault. No, I was told it multiple times I know. that we it's pushed right. the show to Tuesday for so the here, express whose purpose fault of, is it? Well, I mean, if we are going to run her over yeah, with a bus. Morgan's <laughs> supposed to be here, and she's not because she's still getting her hair done. Yeah. So, sorry, gang. I was told that this morning, and we're like, okay, we'll push the afternoon. Hopefully, and then she will show up. She said that there is not a salon in the small town of Texas hmm. that she lives in, at least not something that she felt comfortable going to. So, sure. it's been a year. Yeah. So, she so, said that there's a lot to so do. So, she's been in town for several days. Yeah. Couldn't pick any yeah. of the It's other a grooming things. appointment. Yeah, she had to go okay. get herself groomed. Okay. So, yeah. uh, point is, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> welcome to the uh, uh, main show. Super excited. We've been, we're kind of thrown off because it's not Monday, it's Tuesday. Yeah, no, everything's And we changed everything so that we could have Morgan on here and she's not, so I'm sorry. So, uh, getting into it. Get into it. We get got housekeeping to do yeah. Yeah. just to get you guys up to speed. This Saturday, 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. live here in the studio. What? We're wrapping Dane's Jag. No, yeah, we are that's not. right. Are we serious? That's Dane, what is this vehicle going to become after it becomes wrapped? Well, I don't want to give the whole game oh, away, but okay. I could tell him. I think you I've should. noticed a lot of people going this route lately, which okay. makes it feel less special, and I'm kind of bummed about it. Oh, okay. All of a sudden, in the last like two months, three months or so, I've seen all these different people, even though I've had this idea for well right. over mm -hmm. a year. Yeah. All these people are suddenly wrapping their cars green. Well, because the 90s are back, Dean. Everybody's yeah. wrapping their car screen. I'm like, whoa, hey, that's what I yeah. had so, planned for the last fun like, fact, year. <laughs> fun fact, we got a call from Randy Rhodes, Rap Shop. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wanted to bring a truck. He just finished wrapping. Wants us to do some Halo on it. Okay. Mm. And uh, wants to bring it by, have us do a little video, throw some Halo on it. Guess sure. what color they wrapped it? Oh, no. The matte version of the color you're putting on your <laughs> own. It's done. It's ready. He's going to drop it off. This week, I said Everything no. I don't have time. Is getting a place for that. So I was so excited. I'm like, everybody just does like these crazy, you know, chroma wraps or, you know, chrome or color shift or these other things. I'm like, I'm gonna be green. That's gonna be cool. It'll work on the. You jack picked a cool color though. Green. You picked I'm a really cool. I'm excited green. because I'm excited it was actually it. a brand new color in the Avery yep. Dennison lineup introduced for spring 2021. So I was like, yeah. wow, I might be one of the first vehicles yeah. that has it. And this particular shade, yeah, I think I'll be I think one you'll of the be first. The first Jaguar. First, definitely <laughs> first Jaguar. Probably one of the first, you know, handful British of vehicles cars. getting it because I looked all around online. Nobody has pictures of other cars wrapped this color yeah. yet, yeah. other than like a mock-up of like a Porsche Taycan. But that's it. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Super I'm looking excited. Forward it's to gonna it. be a neat color. What yeah. are you gonna be calling it now once well, it's fully wrapped? We we decide I I don't know how I didn't think of this sooner. Because we have to like theme name everything. You got yeah. Ragnarok. Mm -hmm. My dad's got the Rag Cobra. So we've got DRC call it Rex. Drag. So I'm gonna call it the Ragwar. Because why not? <laughs> I love that. Ragwar. I, I, I love how that. How cool the is Ragwar. that? It's cheesy, but it's fun. I think so, it's perfect. Yeah, I think, I, I think that's plates. awesome. Now, before we get any <clears throat> further into this, I'm going to do this thing I've been doing lately. I know you're oh. cringing. You know oh, what's dang, coming. No. The reality is you got to tell people <sighs> up front. Otherwise, it gets lost in the mix. Guys, if you're not subscribed to the show right now, do it. Please subscribe to the program. You know you like us. If you haven't done it already, well, what are you doing with your life? Yeah. So get subscribed and I'm going to throw this out there too. Anybody who leaves a five-star review, on the podcast, on Apple Podcasts or iTunes or wherever you can leave a review for it, leave it there. Let us know about it. I'll read it on the next podcast or Q&A. So if you want to, you know, have something fun to show off to your friends and say, hey, they read my thing, I don't know if you're going to show that off to people, but whatever, just, uh, just do it. We'd really appreciate it. Gets us out in front of more people. 
lets us keep doing what we do here. Yeah. So, so that's it. Other thing. Anthony made a post on Instagram. Yeah. For those of you that maybe hadn't signed up yet, if you'd like to take the two-day course, it's an admi- intermediate advanced rap course yeah. that is happening here Thursday and Friday at the Rapids or at the Rag Company here for Avery Dennison. Hit that link, go to Instagram, read the story, swipe up. You guys can register, take the class, and then hang out Saturday afternoon. We're going to have some tacos. I got Kaye 75 oh, doing street tacos. tacos. Amazing. Our friends from Pepsi. Yeah. Loading us up. We got a delivery coming today. No way. 14 cases of drinks. Delicious. For the event. Any uh, Pepsi mango in that? Some Pepsi mango in Mountain there. Dew, major melon, zero so, sugar. I don't know if there's some major melon, but there should be. There's also some Voss water. There's uh, some Aquafina water. There's some wow. of the Mountain Dew blasts. A lot of great Bob, things. Baja blast? No, the Mountain Dew. The rise. The rise. I mean, sorry, rise. not the blast. Okay, the rise. You got me really excited. The there. rise energy. Those are good. I was like, that's Baja a good stuff. Blast. So, point is, we got a lot of stuff going. We got to get your car stripped. We got to do. Yeah. We've been setting up the studio. <laughs> we got to do a lot. Seems Season that Dame wants to wrap it before Matt Mormon's new green Porsche rides. I know. I was going crazy when I was looking around. It's like, okay, yeah. so Pan, Brett wrapped Pan, the MR2 green, Pan and then got I see a this other green Porsche. Jag got green here, and then I see that Matt Mormon is suddenly shopping for a green Porsche. And I'm like, come on. Yeah, Suddenly, no, greens no. are popular again. It's like, ah. I, the problem is when hey, you try Dane, to keep something a secret, way. then you look like you're behind the curve when, in fact, True. I was ahead of the curve. Yeah, you were. You I were. was you talking about this color. this time. Well, actually, before this time last yeah. year. It's because you were what talking I wanted about to do. it. it and then I put it out into the, the ether. Yep. Yeah. And everybody else suddenly had so, that collective Putting thought. it out here right now, Dane was the first to come up with the idea for a green car. That's not so, true, that's but I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. No. <laughs> <laughs> part of Dane is one. Oh, man. G. Davis, part of Dane is a oh. depressed wandering <laughs> Jew. Like oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Oh. Gray uh. Hotry says, please subscribe and give the channel a thumbs up so I can see my family again. By the way, Dane, you seen the Jag that Dale Masterson at Meguiar's UK has built? No. I haven't, but I'll Check I it out. All right. Uh, and Wheel Brett 68 says he just wrapped the MR2 <laughs> green. I know. I saw that, and I was like, it looks ah, beautiful. But you know what? It looks great. I got to like say, colors. it looks awesome. So, so Brett, congrats. you need to bring it. You need to come down <laughs> Saturday, 2 o'clock, 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. Bring Show the car down. Show oh, it off. Oh, man. It's going to be mm. hot outside, but we're going to try and be somewhat cooler inside. Hopefully yeah. somewhat yeah. cooler. Yoshi, you can leave a rating. Finish. We'll be sad, but you can leave a rating as long as you're leaving a rating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not excited about All right. that. Oh, we get everyone the says you're fake news, Dane. Thanks, Dan. All right. So... <laughs> This was a uh, nice little weekend for us. A little Father's mm-hmm. Day action, a little potential Father's Day action. Did you get any pre-Father's Day gifts or, or dog Father's Day gifts or anything of that nature, Anthony? No, people aren't. Uh, people Did you aren't, get a people dog aren't, people Father's aren't Day gift? thinking about that yet in my life. And so, mm-hmm. Well, I don't know. Sometimes like when I, was, when I had dogs, like my parents would still get me like a Father's Day gift. It was mostly more <laughs> dog food. Uh, so I, I was wish very strange my dog food is extremely expensive. I never if treated I got, my dogs like If I children, got a fifty-five dollar so. bag of dog food, I would yeah. probably start crying of happiness. Yeah. Well, um, so, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> there you go. Today, Anthony Fisher. If you know uh, what you want to buy them, Nutrisource weight management bags. There you uh, go. Fifty-pound bags. My dogs okay. like to keep them thin. Right? Okay. You know, nice. Them, yeah. Keep them looking so, good. If you're looking to to get Anthony a birthday present, uh, a future mm, present of some sort, dog food. Way to a man's heart. That's what I've always said. All so, right, uh, no, what did you guys do for Father's Day weekend? Mm-hmm. Did you get your dads anything? Like, what'd you do? Dane, well, why don't you just kick it off? First? Me? Why don't you okay, start mine, off? mine was simple. We actually went up to uh, my folks. This is going to sound extravagant. They got a cabin up in uh, Cascade, Donnelly. Yeah, I think we all knew that. So, rather than expecting this palatial estate, it is actually quite a cozy little thing. And it's just designed so that they. Now, can originally. Get away. Just to, to preface this, yeah. your parents had purchased copious amounts of land up in well, the mountains. That's excessive. They no, had property that no, they, they had, had to sit they on. They had two forever. properties that they had sat on for a long time, and then they sold them because your dad realized he's so busy. His he had the dream, you know, the, the dream, dream was to most eventually people build have. something. I'm going to build them. my own cabin. But I want to put it this way. People but he was look building at, a business. People look at property as like some great investment. Like obviously, right now things are going crazy. Yeah. They had to sit on that property for a long time because it wasn't worth what they originally purchased it for. It was an unfortunate timing thing. So yep. 
they they had to set on him a long time, and eventually it just became this kind of like. But burden, I remember like, having uh, a good conversation with your dad when he was talking about that, and I because I was asking him about buying land, doing that kind of thing, and he had said that he goes, you know, we bought him. I just he goes, I just can't. I don't have the Saturdays. I don't have yeah. the time to build a cabin mm. anymore. So then they found a great condo system in McCall that they mm. could buy into cheaply. They actually basically sold the properties and used that money to yeah. get it, that Yeah, it was place. a way to at least, it was sort of yeah. like having a condo apartment yeah. thing Yeah, and McCall. they could go, and it was the perfect You're transition. You're close to all the things you want to be was, yep. in McCall without the landscape yeah. requirements and other stuff that you got to maintain. Yeah, so it was a perfect transition yeah. for them to get away for the weekend. Then mm -hmm. your dad fell in love with the cabin. Well, he saw a yeah. cabin. He saw a built, finished cabin. Closer to the area where they used where to have their just, be. like, yeah. land that Tamarack. was never going to get developed. So they're like, okay. Man. Really yeah, quick, I, I want to know why Blaine Endo does not like Nutrisource. Please what? educate me. That's like starting an O&R fight for Is me. it really? I don't know. What's, What's Nutrisource? I, it's an expensive dog food. Oh, the dog food. Oh, yeah, okay. like, because the blue buffalo apparently, like, causes, like... Hmm. I don't know. People I literally say, just bought that and gave it to my dog. So I buy, <laughs> oh, I, buy I buy, I buy the yellow bags of duck something or other. Oh, okay. From well, Petco. I was buying Costco food for the longest time, and they literally they discontinued like my dog's favorite flavor, right? Chicken and rice, yeah, and everything nice, and a little yeah, spice, he that. right? Um, so that got discontinued. So then I, I so I've been buying the Nutrisource stuff, and it's like expensive, but that's what they told me. At the Northwest Pets, right? They said that Why are you buying at Northwest Pets? Because that's where they sell it. Okay. They also sell it at Zamzos, too. But okay. I don't know. I just Blaine, please, please educate me. Am I giving my dogs my golden are show you, dogs? Are you poisoning your my pets? My beautiful boys the oh, wrong Your dogs are big. Food? They're big, burly, strong. They're show dogs. They are Heavy show duty, dogs. Heavy duty, working can... dogs. Anthony no, kind is... Of, you could pull a cart. Very more attractive. Um, driven. Have you started teaching them to do that? No. There's going to come a time where you're going to get tired of walking or pushing things no, around. The dogs, you're going to want to hook up the dog. The dogs are like Anthony and that the muscles were for show, uh, not Show, go. not go. Okay. Yeah. 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 I just know that, that the big one, Baylor, mm. he's, he's like a bale of hay. He's yeah. a big dog. This Blaine Endo, right in the name. if you have an insight... <laughs> On Blue Buffalo dog Costco. food. What's going on? <laughs> please let us know what the best brand of dog food is, and please back it up with some actual so back facts. Back in the old days, we used to feed my dog Nutri Nuggets from Costco. Really? Oh Very inexpensive, mm -hmm. easy to feed. That Chow Corgi Chow mix. He mm -hmm. lived till he was about sixteen. Died of a massive heart attack. <laughs> but oh. <laughs> a good dog. Happy life. Yeah. So um, now that we anyway, derailed so completely, back to, the, back to the fact. So your parents <laughs> ended up selling the condo, buying this little cabin, and now they're they've been kind of fixing and outfitting, getting it ready to go, and they've they're excited because summer has a, been upon them. And so anyway, explain mm -hmm. what you guys did. What how it all go down? What happened? Yeah, no, it was just a nice little day trip because the cabin they've been like furnishing it and stuff because the people who bought their condo from actually bought it as it was furnished like they wanted oh, everything nice. that was yeah. in it so yeah. my parents are like that's really awesome but at the same time they're like oh no we got to get new furniture for this yeah. other place because yeah. there's nothing in it so they're figuring it out but of course the hard part is i stress you you're picturing like probably this this giant cat it is not so it is a cozy cabin on like the the ski hill so like during the winter mm, nice. you got a lift running be literally like 20 feet away from yeah. the, the I back door of the cabin. That's it's where I broke raining. my leg. And there's a meadow in between this cabin Dang. and the other cabins. It's very really picturesque. Quick. So, it's beautiful. So, so Tamarack, right, mm -hmm. really quick, gives people some backstory here. Tamarack um, is one of the resorts that we have here in Idaho. Um, beautiful. Like, the scenery yeah. is absolutely amazing. The original were, plan. The original plan. Explain <laughs> what the original plan was. Well, the original plan was to become a world-renowned resort that rivaled Sun Valley, which is the other Idaho resort mm -hmm. that everybody knows. Like, that's yes. where all the mm. celebrities go and all that well, stuff. Well, we can like, tell it's well everybody, if you want to learn more, just Google Tamarack Resort well, Financial yeah. Troubles. Yeah. Well, and so they get a place crazy in Brandon story. Some problems. Well, and they wanted to make it look like something out of the Swiss Alps. They wanted to make it look yeah, like they wanted chateau. to make it like a so legit like year up in Scandinavia type place. But yeah. it just it, it was it was a little bit of financial trouble. A for lot them, of financial trouble. Out. And uh, yeah, we even met the guy who like ended up like running away afterwards. It's oh, like, oh, he's back. We, we were going snowshoeing, and he happened to go by, and he was just like, "How do you like the resort?" And he was like going by, and then. 
Yeah, that was yeah. that was interesting. It's like, oh, that was that Jean Pierre guy. Interesting. So yeah. what? So what is currently happening at Tamarack right now? Did they ever finish so, any of those buildings, or what's going on? So it turned. I, mean, I don't want to bore people to death. Basically, it turned into this whole financial kerfuffle that's gone on, where the building sat half finished, if even that. For like in decade. the case of the village, for over a decade, the yeah. Tyvek and stuff that was like Still flapping there. in the wind was there for. 12 years. Yeah. Like, they cut it was, down part of the forest to build a lake. What, yeah. And it's the trees just, still are exposed. It's weird as a kid. Like, I was a teenager when that was all starting up. And then watching it, like, oh, boy, this is going to be so cool. Yeah. I'm going to go ski there. And then it just sort of stopped. And then when I go camping or something, kind of be up in the air. I'm like, let's just go see what's going on with Tamarack. Go by. And it's like, Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah, It's exactly where you left it. But it's just kind of starting to yeah. degrade a I little bit. I went up bit. there. Nate. Nate, next day, Nate and I yeah. did a number of mountain biking trips mm-hmm. up there because the hills we were both Georgia Cycles employees. And one thing that we were able to negotiate was a yearly pass option mm-hmm. for the Georgia Cycles employees. Nice. For 40 bucks, they could wow. buy a pass for the whole summer to ride up there. So you take your bikes to the top of the hill and you bomb down. Plus, we'd rent bikes from Georgia's. We'd bring bikes. So mm-hmm. we do a lot of – anyway, broke my yeah. ankle and leg on one of them. Uh, no, it's great. It, really nice mountain there. Lots that, of but. different trails. Beautiful place. The ski runs are awesome yeah. there. Like, they really were great. The problem was when the resort, like, folded, you had all this stuff that was there, but it was, like, turning over the bank owned stuff. Yeah, it, kind it, of became just, this it, whole it changed hands uh, multiple times. So. so in the recent past, like, in just the last couple of years here – the homeowners who actually like bought cabins up in the hills, because that was the thing is you have all these ski runs and stuff, and then there's all these cabins that were part of the resort. Mm-hmm. But then when the stuff got sold out, the bank took stuff back. It basically became like, okay, they didn't want to sit on all these right. properties. So people started buying them like right. individually. And then what happened was they collectively got together and said, hey, we're going to create this homeowners association, see if we can get some power here, and actually start buying back chunks of the resort yeah. at a time, including like lifts and stuff. And yeah. then basically reassembling it on a piecemeal basis so that they actually had something worth being right. around. Because yeah. it was in their best interest as people who were up there anyway. Like, your your value of your cabin is going to you know sit where it is forever unless you do something to improve the area around it. So they're like, you know, if we all got together and kind of built this up. At least that's my understanding of yeah. it. They, they worked together and they started getting it going again. Okay. So now yeah. the village is actually – slowly but surely being fixed up like the stuff that was there it's all being like any issues they had from sitting so long they fix that stuff nice. and it's actually oh, wow. improving it's beautiful it's up a cool there. area not all the stuff is running yet but they're getting there and they're doing it smart so rather than trying to do everything at once which can be kind of a dangerous idea and of course if you get like somebody who's you know a total like visionary they're like yes all the things at once it's like Eh, realistically it doesn't really work that way yeah. so in this case they're opening up like select restaurants and they got like a bar and they got some nice what? stuff and everything and the restaurant was awesome by Wait, the way so you're really telling good. me that 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 crazy looking you know like fairy tale looking land mm-hmm. parts of it are actually functioning? It's functioning again they're having archery competitions when we were there nice um and the parking lot was full like Hundreds and not like not like the dome shape. I'm talking they actually removed the yurt finally, the giant yurts that they had there before. Those are finally gone, and now it's actually the buildings and structures. Is any of those castle like structures that they built is any of them them is still there? And then the like parking garage ones they use to store like the equipment for snow and stuff, those are still so because there's the resort which is the main building, and across from the main building, there well, the resort is is like that whole village that they were building now that's being completed. Okay, so now that's being completed, but there's the hotel, right, which has the pool. That that has been continuously running, as I understand it. Correct, it has, yeah. But that's separate from, like, the village they were building with, like, the restaurants. So if I were to drive up to that village, would I see anything there? I would see... There's activity. There are restaurants that are open every day of the week. You can go in and you can get, like, fancy cocktails and all that stuff you want. It's very Scandinavian-themed? And not Scandinavian theme. They're going to open an Irish type pub there. They're going to have some, and it's like a multi-story pub too. It's I really am cool, ready so. to it's like go. We're going to go are build we going? some cabins. Yeah, we can definitely. It's it's like an hour and a half away. <laughs> we from We should here. take our it's trailers. Fun. Let's so, go. Let's do it. So why don't we go and make a trip? That would be really fun. It's not that far. So anyway, my parents right, got so you this, up this cabin up yeah. there, and uh, that's where we spent uh, Saturday. Okay. Hung out up there. Liz came with. Callie came with. Yeah. She really enjoyed it, but Callie's kind of a runner, and it's a big, wide open space. I'm yeah, like, well, yeah, she gets away here. She ain't never coming back. Yeah. yeah. Or at least not until she runs across a bear or a wolf or something. 
because uh, there's a lot of those out and then there. she'll be eaten uh, well hmm, i don't know maybe oh, okay. maybe yeah. she's a big dog <laughs> she, she's she's the alpha but uh yeah no it, it was very cool and the cabin being the furniture you know coming together and stuff my dad was working on it and we kind of helped set some stuff up but we just kind of enjoyed the atmosphere like it's yeah. beautiful it's serene it's quiet and uh, the, they had some neighbors who were around, and they're extremely nice. And they all had dogs, like big golden labs running around and stuff. Mm. Like, very, very peaceful, lovely place. Yeah. And uh, yeah, just cool. Like, I hadn't, I hadn't gotten away from town and the busyness of all this stuff in a while. So it was really nice to just spend an afternoon, evening, going up and enjoy. Did you guys spend the night or just uh, the day? No. So they didn't have any that mattresses, but no like bed frames or anything. Like it was all very half finished. So when yeah. they've been going up there, they've been fixing stuff up. They yeah. haven't completed it yet. But this weekend, my dad got a lot of the stuff done and now it's basically cleaned up. It's like yeah. functional now. But they it's, were up there till like yeah. yesterday. I don't know exactly how big. I, I think, think it's came like back Monday. I think it's like a thousand or twelve hundred square feet. Like it's not yeah. huge, but it's like enough. It's the size of my house basically in there yeah. but it's spread out in a way that it's it's really functional it's beautiful outside like it's just yeah. enjoyable yeah and that's mm-hmm. that's all i wanted well, to and push but it was just... and it's what your parents have always kind of wanted yeah like they've really and i've had these talks with your dad when we'd be on a plane or something yeah and those that's that is yeah. that has always been his goal was <clears> mm-hmm. to have it and it's, you know, it's have just a little cabin that you and, get the feeling of the cabin and the woods and all that stuff, but it's not so much maintenance that like. Oh, and it's you not out in the middle of nowhere. A house it's, in the middle of nowhere that you, you can keep literally up. hop yeah. on some bikes, cruise down. Yeah. Go get to the restaurant, ride back. And you're already Irish on the pub, hill. Man. The restaurant. The restaurant is like Excited. four four minutes away by car from their place to the. Oh, the so village. on a bike you're probably what? So on a bike 10? you're. On a bike, honestly, you're about the same if you're oh, riding really? as fast. Yeah. You get there about the same time. Yeah. So anyway, mm. super cool. Nice. Nice. I just love that feeling of yeah. being out in the woods there. It's so nice. So anyway, that was it. That was kind of our, our Father's day E kind of thing. We mm-hmm. didn't push too hard into the Father's Day angle because it was just kind of yeah, like well, getting stuff dad, cleaned yeah. up, fixed up. But it was really nice. We got to spend time with him. And he was just excited because yeah. he loves getting that kind of stuff done. So I was really happy to see him, you know, enjoying that kind of thing, something that wasn't, you know, here at work. It was something yeah. else. Yeah. It was fun. Well, that, that was also the goal was he, you know, He's worked. They both have worked really, really yeah, hard. They need a break to try and get they this place a, to where it is. A chance to go and just yeah. take a look. And that was kind of the thing was yeah. that's all, all of us have been trying to push for them to take some yeah. time. And, and there's no internet yeah. access there, right? Oh, there is. Oh <laughs> no, he's, no. he's, he's going to stay tuned no. in, but at the Jeff, same time, Jeff, like you, just strip the internet access. It. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't need it. I'm so, like it. It only anyway. works on the TV for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> this is weird. Yeah. Netflix. No, they're just there. They're listening to light jazz. They were happy with Good. it. So I was like, okay. it was nice. It was pleasant. And I really like, I like a, a small footprint kind of cabin. Just something cozy, but has all the, the accoutrement you're looking for. Like mm, all the, the little decorations word. and stuff. It's very yeah. nice. Nice. So mm. love that. I would like place. a bare skin rug. Mm-hmm. I can't wait to go there in the winter, basically. Yeah. I just can't wait. So I'm super excited to visit there. And they basically said like, hey, if we're not there for a weekend and you just want to run up, you can just you know take yeah. over for the weekend. I'm like, awesome. So yeah. that's a possibility. But Is that anyway. extended to our to families Anthony as well? I, or how does that work? you got to ask. Um, is it a rental that situation? A uh, is so, it a daily need rate? Borrow, need to borrow it. Uh, yeah, I'm yeah. just saying this is pretty some, nice. Yeah. Got so, some folks in town. Yeah, no, if you got you got to run away and you got a babysitter for the weekend, just so <laughs> have some so. like a distant family that comes into town. So how you been doing, Anthony? Well, I'll show you. Yeah, yeah, up to my yeah, cabin. Up to my cabin. Uh, Anthony, these are pictures of you on the wall. Who is this bearded man? <laughs> and and literally replace the... all the picture frames yeah, with your hilarious. own pictures. <laughs> Let me run in my, my own. Let me go make sure there's no bugs in here. Just give me one second. You just open up drawers and pull yeah, out our photos. No. Of our families, <laughs> put them all in there. <clears throat> oh my! Uh, so, <laughs> oh no, G. <laughs> Thanks. So many the trust fund of the Oh lodge. no! Yeah. <laughs> oh. Uh, New Hyundai came with a bearskin rug. Oh, oh my gosh! So that yeah. was that was Saturday. It was lovely, and that nice. was kind of the closest yeah. thing we had to like a Father's Day thing. And then Sunday. He continued to stay there and wanted to wrap stuff up. So he, he stuck behind and actually spent the night, whereas the rest of us all went home. And uh, he he just kind of did his thing. You know, he gets in the zone yeah, and he, he works does. on it. Yeah. And he got it really, really far along. So it looked great. But uh, on Sunday, kind of a lower key day, but it was hot. It was so hot. So um, basically ran a few errands. I came over here. I dropped off some stuff for uh, project vehicle things, uh, helped Bart out with a couple little things, and 
I took some of the parts from my project vehicle home so that they're not occupying the space near with the wrap event coming up. I wanted to make sure the area was clear. Um, There's an exhaust pipe still in there. Someone's yeah, exhaust pipe mine. needs a, to that's go. A, uh, <clears throat> that needs to that's be a gone. Anthony type vehicle. No, it's yeah, not. We gotta that's get rid Gabe's. Of that. so that's that came, in the, Gabe's came in the box that was given to Anthony and Gabe. So not, they'll have to figure that one out. You gotta get rid of that. But uh, point being, somebody will figure that out. Uh, but what I took the opportunity to do was I just love going up Bates Street sometimes. And because we went up to the the cabin thing yeah, this you needed another Saturday, dose. I was you like, I want another dose, dose of the mountains. mountains, just like yeah. that fresh air and stuff. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to go up 8th Street. Let's let's see how far I you go this time. You guys hiked it. You walked like, all the way up uh, to the top? I drove up it oh, okay. for, for yeah. quite a few miles. And the and, Jag? Uh, you took oh, the Jag in the dirt? No. I was bought him out road. immediately. Okay. <laughs> No, took the took the the taco. taco. Oh wow! Yeah, so went out there. Put that went in four wheel drive and uh, went driving. Yeah, no, at some points put it in the low range. Nice. Got some nice yeah. uh, dippy dips okay. and big old stuff. Yeah. And just Did a little crawling, some fun. Oh, rock crawling. <clears throat> there are parts definitely where yeah, you you do a two wheel drive, you could probably get through it if you went fast, but then you probably snap an axle or something. So yeah, no, pretty fun. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to get out and do some nice. of that stuff. And uh, there were a lot of dirt bikers out there and everything, but I did get out and you know go for a you know walk and stuff. There are little areas you could pull off to the yeah. side, and then just adventure around. Yeah. It's so nice out. Dane, so, quick question for you: would, would my Dodge Ram fifteen hundred, obviously the greatest vehicle you've ever known to man, <laughs> would that make it up Eighth Street? You you could definitely. I think you'd make it up farther than Dane. Well, here's the, here's okay. The thing. So I, it's a lifted farther. truck. It's a big truck. No, it's so a big here's, honker. Here's, You're gonna probably do a little bit of body damage, but I think you could make it in places. Is well, it so, tight? Am I gonna get like? That's the part I'm trying to get to. Oh. Is you can get up it. You but make there's a certain fit. point where there are tree branches that stick in, and my taco was just skinny enough to get oh, between. You remember them. that time we if took you the had suburban a up ram there. or something wider? Listen it would definitely be getting those Idaho pinstripes. Really? Yeah. Okay. But it was great because it got up almost to the area where we were when we were doing our, you know. A yeah. focus basin kind of shoot. I was kind of coming up the backside nice. there, and it, yeah. it was cool. Um, yeah, you had an option where it yeah, branched off Eighth Street. Go up or down. You cruise up Eighth Street all the way to the top. It'll take you all the way to the top yeah. of behind There's chair a, one. I, I hit that fork in the road where it's like, okay, do you go around the belt line of the mountain, or do you keep going up? And I was like, okay, I'm going to turn around this tree and go back down. But that was several miles up, it as it was. So. Yeah. It was really cool, but nice. uh, it gets very narrow, so I, I would not recommend anything. Much I used to wider. ride a bike down when I was a kid. <clears throat> well, and that's what Top of when I got one. up there, there were guys parking and taking their mountain bikes down the hill and then <laughs> riding it back up and going back to the vehicle. And I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> that's crazy! That seems like a nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's disposed of his extra <clears throat> exhaust in the media oh, center. The Dodge nice. you can carry and dispose of. <laughs> so what? Okay, so because I've, I've been trying to think of areas that I could go off roading yeah. in my Dodge Ram fifteen hundred. Correct. Right. I'm sitting on a pretty high end suspension. Yeah. Um, well, thanks to my, a little bit. Thanks to my friends over at Rough, Rough Country. Mm. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I'm on the KO2s, right? Yeah. One of the, obviously, one of the best all terrain yeah, tires so known to man. So, oh, yeah. You'd have no problem going up the actual terrain. Yeah. It's I got four wheel drive. Yeah. You know, it works why don't now. You go, why don't you go let it eat? Yeah. So, Honestly, you should. What Just about that? Don't try it out. It's fun. I've never gone off roading. So I would I want, want to somebody. Ride with you I, and just I would want no. I'd want somebody to lead the way. Oh, okay. Okay, you guys should do that. The and I can make a, go on up. And I can make a video <laughs> review of my Nate rough country and I'll suspension. Take our rigs. We'll ah. go up another path. Okay. And then we'll call you guys when we make it up to that. Listen, side. I and just you guys don't. Have to I don't want to get up there. Tree to scratch my truck. That's not gonna. That's gonna. Yeah, happen. you might be disappointed. No, but then I won't go though. Yeah, that'll happen a lot. But I won't. He doesn't want a tree to scratch his free truck so i had a jeep and mm. i rhino lined it mm. yeah I, that's the very levi the thing whole to do. outside <laughs> yeah that way i didn't sounds, have to worry about those scratches sounds about it right. was a little smaller too hmm. what is okay what's My that ZJ. remember that road i went up to i told you it's not black canyon road but it's that um it's that road that goes up past on the way to table rock and you take a left there yeah, and it used called, to be all dirt yeah yeah, right. You I know take girls back is. there and, and, it's, uh, and kiss them. Oh no! What, what, what's that road <laughs> uh, called? Grimes Creek. That's not Grimes Creek. That's Roby, uh, Rocky Canyon. Road. Rocky Canyon Road. What's back there? Because it Creek. turns into it, it tur turns into Roby Creek. Is it is that off road? Yes. Is that like more fun off road? You can keep going. It'll take mm -hmm. you up to Aldopi if you take the wrong <clears throat> turn. It'll go. Up to the, Al it'll go up to Aldopi Summit. The main challenge was some it's one of the stuff. one of the main mountains. It's like that mountain right over there. Yeah. Wow. The main challenge mm. with some of these trails is they look on camera, they don't seem that intense. But when you're actually driving on them, there are areas where your entire tire will dip into a crevice or something completely. You'll be up to like the halfway point on your tire. And if you don't have good off-road tires, you'd definitely be like, if you had less 
pro, uh, sidewall, you'd definitely be like crunching some some wheels or something on some of that stuff. It gets your car leaning pretty far. So it's fun because it feels more hmm. dangerous. I think, I'm willing to go with somebody. But yeah, no, I, I would love, I would love to go with you up there and just show you what it's like because your your Ram could do it. Well, and you could pull and block the brush with your truck. Oh sure. And then I can yeah. drive. Right next I'll, to you. I'll like just that. take yeah, my, just, my just least 2020 Toyota up there yeah. while you're... It's a lease. Uh, it's a lease. You have to turn it in anyway. Ram that you just coated over and have suddenly turned into this nice vehicle. Just get some PPF. Dane, it is a beautiful truck. Oh, I get compliments on things all the time. Throw some heavy couple layers of PPF Not even on the all sides. the paint is there. <laughs> Most of, Most the, of the, paint the paint is there. there. <laughs> Most of it. Yeah. Okay. So I think that's enough about me. Eh, okay. My, my well, that, but that a nice, it. easy weekend, yes. nonetheless. It was pleasant Very trying nice. to get out more. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I had a, uh, I had a detail this weekend. Oh. Then they canceled on me. Oh, I hate those people so that do that. Who did they, it? So Friday. Well, I canceled on them last. <laughs> Whose houses weekend. are we egging? So. Am I right? No, it's eight account. It was the former eight county commissioner. So. That makes ooh. sense. Uh, yeah. So anyway, I. Uh, I was sitting here at work. They texted and said, hey, sorry, we got too much stuff going on. We're not going to be able to make it. And I said, dang it. Well, our very own Gabe Garcia was within earshot. Ah. Earlier in the week, he had asked me, hey, I need you to detail my dad's truck. I said, I don't know if I have time. Pretty booked up. I said, dang it, I got it canceled. And he goes, I got uh, my dad's truck. You can do. And hmm. I said, okay, bring it over. So... Friday night, I got home and uh, got the green bean all set up, ready for a dump run. Okay. Saturday morning, kids jumped in the truck. Watson jumped in the Suburban, and uh, Gabe Garcia jumped in the passenger seat. Yeah. So Gabe showed up, dropped his truck, his dad's car off, and then I gave him a ride back because, you know, his house is right next to the dump. So yeah. I basically... It's a great way to frame it. Re, yeah, it was all, I was like, hey, yeah, it's right next to it. No problem. So took him over, d- dropped him off at his house, and then literally just turned left and was at the dump. Mm. Like, you could, see, I could see his house. I was waving yeah. when I was yeah. dumping all the seagulls and everything. It was pretty crazy. So, yeah, if it weren't for the seagulls, he might hear you. Yeah, so <laughs> uh, just dropped off, but I, but I took the kids. We backed up the trailer, dumped all the garbage and stuff, headed back down. I don't know about you guys, but a trip to the dump is really beautiful. There's something. There's su- something satisfying. There's something very about satisfying about getting rid of all that garbage way out up there, and then just like by yeah, just dropping <laughs> it off and driving away. Well, you got like the guys guiding you, and you got all these it's other trucks doing the same I, thing. Because I think like society has made it feel right. Yeah, because well, you can do hold it. On. Because it, nothing's more of a rush it's than sort when of you a dump. Congratulations! When you dump in a dumpster that you shouldn't be dumping yes. in, mm-hmm. right? And you're like, wow, this is a rush. I hope nobody sees my yeah. license plate. When, well, and here's the other thing. This is the end result. <laughs> you know what? We do some. We're 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 helping the environment. Yeah. Because you know why? We're doing methane capture up there. Mm. Are we? So. The dump, affectionately known as Siemens Gulch, that's literally the name of it. Yeah. Great. Is. <laughs> A design methane capture dump. Yeah. So they literally roll over all the trash, then cap it off with yeah. these big, huge sacks and capture all the methane gas out and then use it uh, to power or create electricity. So it's pretty, it, yeah. it's neat. It's a neat area that they're doing all hey, that way. At least they're doing something. They're doing something with it. So weight, fully loaded, suburban mm-hmm. and green bean. Do you want to guess the pounds? I'm yeah, guessing the fully loaded. Uh, two kids, a dog, and a truck bed trailer. I'm guessing at our ten thousand pounds. Mm. What do you think, Dane? I would say more like eighty six hundred. Ooh, pretty Dane, close. Dane, eighty seven forty. Oh, wow, eighty seven forty. <laughs> and then I only dumped about two hundred pounds. That was wow. all. Okay, That's all I, like, well, I was like, oh man, I thought I had not a lot much more. Than that. <laughs> yeah, it was eighty five forty. I was like, man. So Jeez. anyway, made it back home. We started working on the truck. You know, the MOSHQ is uh, air-conditioned. It's one of the highlight features wow. of the MOSHQ. Nice. Yeah. So while it increased in temperature up to about 100 degrees on Saturday and mm-hmm. Sunday, MOSHQ was operating at a 74.6 degrees with wow. 23% humidity inside. Icy. Very nice. Bearable to be mm-hmm. able to work it. Still kind of oh, got a little warm. I got a little yeah, warm. It's a little bit more than bearable in but there. But felt yeah. good. Felt really <laughs> Compared nice. Compared to some alternatives we've experienced. Yeah. Agreed. Very nice to work in, comfortable, easy to do. 
So I worked on the car a little bit. Saturday night, Carly and I just kind of chilled out. Uh, then Sunday, Father's Day, mm. woke up to my your kids. Day. This is your this day. This is my day. So your day to I've been sleep a father, in. I've been a father for a decade, 10 you can, years. You could deserve to sleep so in, right? So this is my 10th Father's Day. Yeah. Yeah. What do I wake up to? Let me tell oh, you no. what I did Saturday night. Saturday night, went to the store, went to go get some Texas toast so I could make some French toast. Mm. Okay. None to be available. Oh. Bought some bacon. <laughs> so got ready to make my own breakfast. Got all the things I needed. Well, you to didn't make have to do that. It's your Father's Day. Well, uh, I wanted to make sure I was going to have a good Father's Day. Oh, so okay, I got you. I got you. So, I wake up in the morning. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Thanks, uh, <Steve. laughs> I wake up in the morning to my children making noise. Oh no! They come in and go, "Mom, we've made breakfast in bed for Dad." Oh. And I said, "That's so oh, nice." What's the breakfast? I was going to say, yeah. your fear is, what am I going to be served? So here's what I got. <clears throat> toast. Oh, good. With the crust cut H- off. Hard to screw that up. The wheat, crust cut off? Wheat Jeez. toast. Yeah. Now, a nice thick quarter inch layer of Nutella on top of it. Stop it. My okay. mouth is watering right Completely now. Completely covered in sprinkles. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I, that's I, I, uh, that's I, where I, I was I, like, yeah, I don't like sprinkles. Yeah. But kinda, okay. Kinda yeah, yeah. Then, <laughs> then a leftover half eaten cookie. Um, a half eaten Oreo. Half eaten okay. by whom? And, uh, by my son. Okay. Oh, okay. That's what he does. Yeah. Okay. Hey, got this Oreo double stuff for you. We split it. A bite. Wait. It. Wait. Took a bite so out of you're it. Split and half on Oreos. Yeah. So They're like that big. Yeah. So that, have that. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then a. A bunch of apple slices. That's good. I hope the apple was recent. It was. Okay. But they used the <laughs> apple cutter, so they set yeah. it down. Oh, okay. They got a nice little... But um, then they yeah. set it in a baking tray. Oh, and served it to and you. And a 13 That's by so 7 so nice. Glass. Hey, Brought they're trying. Very nice. I they're said, trying. thank you, guys. Yeah. Guess what I did? I bought stuff to make French toast and bacon and stuff, mm. and they were like, woo! Yeah. And then they took it from it. But they brought me their little papers that they made that basically said things about, like, facts about me. Oh. Beautiful facts. Great stuff. Augie <laughs> basically facts. said that my dad always says to me, Augie, keep eating. Thought that was really nice. <laughs> um, what an inspirational <laughs> quote. Just keep eating. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Hadley's was, like, Hadley's was like, uh, I love you, Hadley, or something like that. Yeah. Things my dad always says to me, but Augie's was, <laughs> Augie, oh. keep eating. Um, so just really funny, but they drew pictures of me and stuff. It was nice. And then yeah. uh, they got me socks. Oh. Oh. So Carly got me some really cool movie-themed socks. So I got some Back to Future. I got Big Lebowski. I got Ooh, uh, nice. Fast Times at Ridgemont High. <laughs> yeah, my Gee. kids got me. Yeah, I smelled what I felt I was going to need. And then uh, That's weird. <laughs> uh, my parents got me a $50 gift certificate or gift card to Home Depot. So oh, that was nice of them. Nice. But, so anyway. You're a, you're a fifth of the way there to a nut busting torch. Yeah. So that was nice. I got a, it was an easy Sunday. I basically set up where I was like, I don't want to do anything today. I yeah. just want to chill out. So what did I do? Went back out, finished the Land Cruiser mm. for Gabe's dad because it's nice. also his father's day and I needed to get that yeah handled so hung out till about 10 10 to noon busted out the land cruiser got it finished texted gabe he said i'll be right over uh 9 p.m later he showed up nine hours after i texted him he showed up but to his credit he was working on his side yard uh but just literally hung out from noon to nine went over to my dad's said hi to him came back over augie and i went to the bike shop we went to uh, Carly and Hadley had a birthday party they had to go to, so they went and did that. So Augie and I just kind of hung out. We went to George's, wandered around George's bike shop, uh, yeah. looked at bike stuff, went to Dairy Queen, got some ice cream, just kind of took it easy. Went to Home Depot, mm. went to Fred Meyers, just wandered around, just did what I'd like to do, which is nothing. And that was it. Very simple, very nice. easy, chill little weekend. Then I was going to pull out the tent trailer this week. Carly and I thinking of going, taking the kids up, Sounds going nice. camping this weekend. Yeah. Hottest weekend of the year. Yeah. Not going to go up. Oh. So I'm not going to move mm-hmm. the tent trailer. Okay. You could bring it's, your AC unit from your house. I don't, I don't think strap it, fits, it on. It doesn't fit the temperature's inside the tent literally read something oh. like 103, 106, yeah, 108, We're, we're going up into the mountains, <laughs> and it's still going to be over 100 degrees. Yeah. And in the evening, 
It's going to get down to 74. Yeah, it's those might as well sleep nights. in my garage at that yeah. point. Yeah. yeah. So that's where we're kind of like, man, you could, I just, you could just do, stay you, home. You could put the tent up in your garage. That'd be fun. I could put the tent up that'd in your garage. That'd be fun for the 70 kids. 70-something a night is okay. It's those nights where it's like still 80 or even 90. I like if you're in Arizona. Yeah, it's going to be hot. Disgusting. Well, and I don't have AC on the trailer, so it's... <laughs> yeah. We're going to be in whatever it's the a sweat temperature lodge. It's just too much. <laughs> so so we're not going to go. We'll just chill out here, hang out in the AC. Yeah. Speaking of AC. Take a couple days off. Next All right. question Next says, for you. what air conditioning system are you using for your garage, and approximately how much did it run you? Thank you. Uh, what I'm running is a high air mm. AC mm. unit yeah. designed for a space of 300 square feet. Ah. Wow. Now, the MOSHQ is actually 750 square feet. Actually, quite a quite a large setup. Um, so, this air conditioner I got for Father's Day last year mm-hmm. from my dad after he had bought it for one of his rental properties to use when the air conditioning system went out. While he was working on the AC unit, he put this little window mount in so that people didn't hate him. It's probably like a ten thousand BTU. Or yeah, something it's about like that. ten thousand BTU. It's about three hundred bucks. Okay. Yeah. Now, is it the best system? No. What I need is the one that I have upstairs Uh, that I have in the window that helps my upstairs unit. If I swapped it, put it down into the the garage, it'd be really nice. Hmm. I could freeze out the garage pretty good. But this little thing, it doesn't run all the time. I run it when I need it. Now, the house is heated by the actual furnace, and the garage is heated by the actual furnace. Mm -hmm. So I have a vent there that I can heat. Now, I have a side room in the garage that is also running off the – that is plumbed into the house HVAC. And I use that for added cooling. Okay. So I basically open that door. So I have an AC unit in the window on one side, and I have an open door into a room that's actually air conditioned by the house. Mm. And I put a fan you on either pair side. The two up, yeah. And I kind of push air back and forth. And then I have another fan across the ceiling that just blows heat across yeah. the top of the ceiling. So I just kind of build a circular cavity that stays pretty cool. And actually, it's not like, bad. Yeah. Yeah. So I like the way that sounds. Yeah. So that's, that's what it is, Nick. Uh, you could probably pick something up at Home Depot. I have a window in my garage, same as like you have, Anthony. If you put a window mount air conditioner right over there by the Evo, where you have it parked, don't you have a window I, there? I don't have a window. I wish I had a window I there. You had a window on that <laughs> one. No, I got windows in my garages. I don't have no. windows over there. Probably uh, should get a window or cut a hole in the wall and put an air conditioning. Can you do that for me? Do you feel <laughs> confident in cutting a hole in my wall? I yeah, I probably could do it. Just a saw saw like uh, yeah. close enough. Yeah, we have to Pro- cut out some sheetrock and stuff because we we'll have to yeah. build a header and a footer on there out of two oh, by fours. I don't know how to do that? But we could do it. We could make it yeah. happen. Okay. It's yeah, because I because then I could have an AC unit oh, in man, my that'd garage. Be nice. You, you could actually enjoy there. your time. Out You'd in wake the up in the morning. The first summer. thing you do, go out there, turn on that AC unit, turn on one of your wall-mounted MOSHQ cooling solution packages. Oh, oh yeah, man, nice. we should make a video about that. The mm. MOSHQ cooling solution package install. Yeah. At Anthony's garage, I'm yeah. sure a lot of people would watch. People that. watch that like crazy. Yeah, They're like, would. "What is this?" <laughs> We're just it's just, it's just the most <laughs> janky all, version of obsessed crooked. garage it's anybody's all. ever seen. Yeah, it's, it's good enough. Let's, ah, let's crap! Works. I cut through some main wiring here for your. Uh, <laughs> How did you not get electrocuted? I don't know, but I thought you sorry. shut it off. Well, yes. I did, but I, I, I turned the light off. We yeah. have to turn all the power yeah, off. Like, sorry, the man. Not just, just the switch. The switch isn't gonna cut it. But anyway, that was it. So very simple, very easy. Anthony, sure. what did you do? Oh, man. So if I remember, I think Friday night, I think I was, it was a lot of wandering and yeah. looking for projects that I didn't have to do. Does that make, oh. do you guys ever just walk just, around yes. your house? Yes. Like, and just Creating. look, just look and be like, what do I actually <laughs> want to commit to doing yeah. this evening? Yeah. Um, it was just, it was so much want. It's kind of like when you go and you're hungry and you go into the pantry yeah, and you I look. Yeah, I get that. I keep a look, couple uh, light and pictures. And you look and you're like, I don't see anything. And then you go back and mm-hmm. you look again. No, I don't it see hasn't anything. changed. So yeah, what I do is I, I, I keep a couple changes. light fixtures, mm. keep them in my closet, just in case that, uh, you know, need ever arises. I've got something to do. Like, yeah. oh, I guess I could replace this light yep. fixture. Yeah. So, so that's what I mean. My Friday night was just a lot of that, just a lot of wandering in and out. Yeah. And I decided, you know, what I'm going to do instead. Uh, I'm just going to clean up the garage. I'm yeah. like, because I do. I have this habit of, I clean up my garage. It'll be very nice. Yeah. And then I work in it, and then Katie unloads her vehicle in it, 
and then it turns into like a whirlwind has come through there, right? right. Yeah. Like I'm very good at making a big mess. Yeah, I'm me good too. at cleaning it up and then making a mess again. So it's just a constant cycle of that. And so I cleaned it up because I wanted to get it prepped for uh, Saturday the next morning. Um, so Saturday I took my project car, right? We all have our project cars yeah. and I wanted to do an, an interior detail on this and I wanted to do a good job. Um, so uh, I did some detailing, I guess you could say, this weekend. Um, so the interior was pretty hammered. I guess don't think it's ever been like detailed in its 20 years. Mm. I just didn't look like it's ever been cleaned. Maybe vacuumed, but not like yeah. deep cleaned. So I pulled out the entire... Um, most of the main main in parts of the interior, the seats, I put out the center console, the shifter, um, the rear seat, everything came out. And um, use my Bissell mm. Spot Pet Pro yeah. extractor yeah. thing. Um, it extracts pets. <laughs> extracts pets, yeah, right, right, in, right, in, right out of there. So I um, went through, uh, vacuumed everything. Uh, pre-treated everything with Green Star, so I used Green. I mean, like I basically did that entire detail with mm -hmm. Green Star. That's, yeah. that's all I did. Mm -hmm. I did twenty to one or whatever it was. Uh, pre-treated everything. There were some spots where I went a little bit too heavy on the Green Star, and yeah. when I started extracting it, I'm like, "What is that bubbling sound?" I look back oh. over, my extractor is foaming up yeah, out of out of the <laughs> thing. I'm like, "Oh my god, I've a." Uh, Sprayed a little bit too much, and so, um, but extract everything. I bust out the steamer, started steaming things. Uh, what was funny is that you know the extractor. Well, yes, it was good at removing a majority of the filth out of the carpets, right? That maybe like a towel couldn't do on its own. The steamer was able to break down the stains at a like yeah instant rate. Mm. It was it was pretty impressive. Um, there was some stuff I wasn't able to get out of it, but it just called it good. So, um, but other than that, though. Um, I went through, cleaned up the plastics, just steamed them, steamed out the vents, steamed out everything. Uh, the seats kind of are a little rough, and so I yeah. didn't have to go to the junkyard and replace one. But overall, I was pretty happy with how it turned out. I, I think that it'll be really nice for the next owner of this project nice. car you know, down the road. And so, uh, But I did that because I took breaks in between the day, and I wasn't really, you know, I was kind of taking my time. It's also very hot outside, steam and sitting in a hot yeah. car, not the best thing. Yeah. Uh, but I finished later in the afternoon, and Katie said, hey, I've let you do your thing all day. Now it's time for some me time, right? Yeah. I, said, I said, what would you like to do? And she's like, well, I got a crazy idea. And I said, Take a nap. Well, I said what, what is it? She's like, what do you say? Um... We install a pool at the house today. And what? I say, yeah, a pool? Adding an amenity. Katie, what are mm -hmm. you talking about? A pool? And she's like, what do you think about us, you know, making something really nice? You know, making something where we can go sit in there, swim, yeah. do a little bit of swimming, do a little bit of soaking. Um, yeah. I, you know, it's a spot on the side of our house. We can make this all work out. But you did. Um, seems to think you could put it in your crawl space. And um, <laughs> it'd be perfect, right? And mm -hmm. basically saying, like, we can, we can do this pool. I said, okay, there's no way we can, we can install a pool in a day, right? And she says, I think we can. Well, so, she'd been listening to, to the podcast, learning yeah. about all the stuff I've been doing, yeah. setting up my pool, and that's what gave her ideas. She's Clearly like, motivated. You can do it in a day. That. Levi yeah. and Carly did it. So, yeah. so uh, basically... Um, I am now the owner of a pool. Very nice. <laughs> I um, I have been treating it. I've been shocking it. You got it. a cover for it? I have. Did yes, I have a, been covering it. A skimmer. Um, too? I still have to buy a skimmer. On a Walmart, but pick up one of them. I mean, the amount of space that this pool is. I mean, it's just insane just to be able to just dive in um, yeah. and mm -hmm. uh, put it up in a day. Spread out, you know, and you know, and soak and just really enjoy and relax. Yeah. Um, so the pool is um, pretty deep. Yeah. Roughly um, 36 inches, 42 inches. Yeah, how big a, how so, big a pool so are we talking So for reference, here? my pool, I yeah. used to have a 12-foot circular pool. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. That was 36 now. inches deep. Oh, yeah. Pretty good. <clears throat> right? Pretty good, yeah. I upgraded. 15-foot pool, 42 inches deep. Wow. So wow. bigger. Yeah. A little bit bigger round. So, now I'm running a much bigger pump, mm -hmm, inline mm -hmm. out, inline filter, all that good stuff. Yeah, got to shock it, got to do all the chlorine, put the solar cover on it, able to get the temperature up to ninety point six degrees. Mm. Wow, Very nothing warm. better on a it's hot got a day ladder. Than a hot pool. Got a ladder so they can climb in, climb up and over into it. Oh. So mine's uh, just slightly smaller than okay. yours. Um, I want to say Enough it's for um, five, six people to play in at once. 
Yes. <laughs> Easily. <What>? Okay. So <laughs> the dogs I, go in there, don't they? So what this the so it actually it? is, right? <laughs> this was the Walmart special. I can't mm. remember the exact sizing, yeah. but I want to say it's something like a six by ten, okay, or seven by ten, like yeah, rectangle, rectangle, right? Okay. Um, it is an air up. T- Okay. thing right okay. so you're taking a yeah. you know compressor whatever it, so is. it doesn't yeah. have like a up. scaffolding around so did it. you bust out the compressor no. solution package no i used my Inatex um oh, okay. um uh mattress blow up yeah. okay. tool okay use that thing blew up really quick um but you have, a, you have a blow gun on your air compressor right i do but no what, what was happening the the it just the, it would get like a real big burst and then i have to oh. wait for it to refill right oh. it wasn't t- so you need that extra air. holding tank with air I know. So, um, but anyway, um, so I got this thing up for her. She's so pumped, man. It was 25 bucks. Yeah. Oh, nice. nice. Oh, nice. $25, right? Yeah. And bargain. she's like, I just want to go lay in a pool. And she's like, I just want to be in water because it's 100 something degrees. And I said, yeah. I totally got it. So, um, but got that for her. And um, it's Beautiful just, part of the yard. Well, no, able to look so, at all so, the, so, the beautiful so, plants and grasses. So the mountains. My neighbors my, are my, right there. No, Dane, my favorite part <laughs> is that, so it's on the other side of the house. So on one side oh, of the house, so we have Oh, so it's not near your back No, patio. no, no. It's, oh, it's, it's just it's like in, out in the boonies. No, this is the, like a private area of my backyard, uh, right? This is where, um, you know. Some would say the most private. It's very private. See, for some reason, I was picturing it like right next to that walking path by your no, fence. I'm like, that would be awesome. No, no it's on the other side. Other it's side on the other side. Other side of the house. Um, and that side of the house over there, you know, it's a 15 foot wide area, sure. right? And it's shaded for most some of the oh, day. Nice, it's really yeah. nice back there. But my favorite part is, you know, we laid down a tarp, we blew up this thing, filled it with water. Mm-hmm. She's laying in it. She's like, "Wow, this is just amazing!" Right? Listening to Bob Marley, right? Yeah. Having a nice drink, kicking back. She got a floaty, so she's actually able oh, to float nice. in this dang thing. Yeah. Because nice. it, it is, I want to say it's like two feet. It's like yeah. twenty-four inches or whatever mm-hmm. it was, but just enough to where you could float. And my favorite part, she's like, how trashy does this look right now? And I said, not trashy at all. As she's laying there and then like 15 feet in the other direction, there's our trash cans, um, some bumpers from the junkyard, a stack of tires, a stack of trailing yeah. arms, a ton of boxes. All your car parts. And all, it'd and be like me putting it. I told Carly this last night. I was like, it'd be like me moving our, our pool. Over yeah. to where I park all the trailers, where it's full of car parts and tin cans, and <laughs> yeah. do my blacksmithing. See, my backyard <laughs> went full circle, so it would actually be like being out in a nature's lagoon or something Ooh, in mine. So you just it, go out that's there. That's great. Though. It is so because she's like, "How trashy we look." I'm like, "We look pretty trashy right now," but it's awesome. <laughs> you know, I'm like sitting there with my feet in the pool drinking. I was like, "I don't even know." I was drinking, she's just drinking like a white, out the claw. white claws. <laughs> yeah, and she's laying in there. I'm like, "Man, this looks pretty bad right now," but we're having a good time. Yeah, that's what. And it's and, and, that's what um, but yeah, twenty five bucks couldn't beat it, man. And so we we set that up for, her, and then um, Saturday night I, that was I mean that was pretty much my entire night. After you know after that I was just wasted. And then so Sunday was Father's Day. Half the day didn't do anything. Just yeah. I just it was so hot, man. I didn't I didn't I mean, like I know I got to mow the lawn. Didn't want to mow the lawn. Didn't want to do anything else. So instead we went to my parents' house for Father's Day. And. I got him a couple Carhartt shirts because I wanted him to be youthful and cool, oh, yeah. right? Be able uh-huh. to fit in. Uh, the Carhartt shirt, shirt solution packages really are the best. Very nice. You're running those Force Tees? That was the Force Tees, yeah. but I'm a Force T large, tall kind of guy, okay. right? I like the yeah. length that it makes me look feel and look slimmer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, but uh, so we got him that. Got him some some other like motorcycle bits and stuff, some fun stuff. And we hung out with my family there, had a barbecue, and uh, my parents live behind a canal. Like they have like a walking path, and yeah. there's a canal right there. Um, it's not a very deep, deep canal. It's like six feet deep or Is something. It a canal or a canal? A canal. Okay. And um, it's irrigation water, right? Oh. Oh, so okay. um, one thing we like to Is do, because we're very classy people, yeah. we like to take the... Um, what's it called the kayaks yeah and we like to kayak down the canal oh (laughs) so it's really fun it is really fun we pull them down so it's me my sister katie um and we just grab these things we threw them down the water and we just start kayaking up this (laughs) so is it an irrigation ditch or is it like the big irrigation canals like Mm -hmm. i have 
Your not, picture not, like no, not the, like the dangerous one. Okay. It's like yeah. a ditch. Those it's a are ditch. like the slope side. Yeah, I know. No. That's why I mentioned. I'm like, no. once you Dang, go in, man. you no, might this not be able to get back out. It's like a but ditch that's in people's backyards. Yeah. Yeah. The kinds yeah. you see on the news warning people. Yes. <laughs> no, this Radio is, ads I've been hearing like yeah. crazy. Like you couldn't get hurt in this. It's it's too it's too small. But um, so we kayaked up that and people in their backyards enjoying their Father's Day looking back like, what the heck are these people doing? And But we had a fun time and... Uh, that was pretty much it, though. Yeah. I mean, it was a pretty kickback weekend. I, uh, I, I think that 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 Saturday, you know, interior detail. I put a lot more time and work into it than I probably should. I shouldn't have gone that crazy with it, but yeah. I'm I'm crazy like that, so I did, and uh, that was it. Nice. Yeah. Well, I was gonna say I did hear so a radio shabby. ad about the canals, uh-huh. and to be careful about it. But the ad started out with a guy walking up, going, "Hey, Anthony, what are you doing over there?" Thanks, Levi. Just over here mowing my lawn, just finishing up. Going to take these grass clippings and just dump them in the irrigation ditch. (laughs) Don't do that, Anthony. You know, that can cause lots of property damage farther down the road for other people. Oh, I didn't know that. I don't want to damage anybody anybody else's property. I guess I won't do that. Levi, I guess. Thank you for telling me that. And then it goes... The Idaho Canal and Irrigation <laughs> Ditch District reminds you not to dump or put anything in. Like, yeah, that's why I was doing that voice before. I was, I'm just I like was every year. Five like, I was like, children. that is not yeah, a normal conversation. Awful. I have never no. talked to a neighbor that says, I'm going to just go dump all my stuff down. And this of course, you know, everybody is so respectful ditch. of the neighbors. Yes, thank you, neighbor, for telling me what I should do. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was dying when I listened to that radio ad. I was like, that was the stupidest this thing ever. This person has heard. never had a human interaction. Yeah, it was hilarious. <laughs> Is, but dude. yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, and so uh, this week we do have um, potentially another sale happening. Well, yeah, potentially, yeah, potentially. So, um, keep an eye out. Probably Friday, we might have something up our sleeve. We don't know at this point yet. We're, we're pretty yeah. sure it's gonna happen. Um, but uh, I know people are still getting their mystery bags in yet, you know, just still, you know, I think within the last few days. Um, one thing I want to talk about really quick though is that. I had a lot of messages on Instagram, people asking, hey, you guys are out of stock on product. Hey, you know, my shipping's taking a little bit longer than normal. Um, and so, guys, we're trying the best we can. We're trying yeah. to get these orders out as fast as we can. Uh, there has been some shipping delays kind of outside of our control. We're trying to get them out the door and get tracking to you guys, you know, just like we normally would be able to do. And in terms of all the products that uh, may seem out of stock, they're on the way. We just got a restock in of more stuff. <laughs> and for people wondering, uh, the UBS is back in stock. The Ultra the Black UBS Spence. is back in stock. That so was a big, if that's you've a been big waiting one. on that, it's time to pick that thing up. So. Yeah. Uh, the biggest thing is we've had some transitions. You know, yeah. we've had some people out. We've had some people back. We've got people taking vacations. We got all kinds of stuff going on. So the same stuff that you guys are dealing with in your lives, we're dealing with over here as yeah. well as the rag coming. So just bear with us and, and, you know, just your stuff will get there in time and, Please Hopefully trust that we, we do, in fact, value, you know, your you know, purchasing from us. And we want to do everything we can yeah. to give you the best experience possible. Yeah. Sometimes there are limitations yep. to how quickly things can be done. But we definitely do our best and put our best foot yeah. forward. So I will day. say this. This Thursday's Q&A, special guest, we got Juan back in the studio. Hey, so yeah. Juan will be here to do that stuff uh, Thursday night is when Eric and Chris from G Technic. Yes. So Eric Joseph and Chris Wheeler are going to be landing Thursday night. So they'll be here Friday and Saturday for the event. Um, and They're then ready to party, aren't they? Justin's <laughs> going to be here Tuesday night, I believe. And then he'll be here for, mm-hmm. or, or tonight, I think he comes in. So he may stop by tomorrow, get ready for Thursday, Friday for the class. Uh, there are still spots available. Yes. You check out graphics at Avery Dennison or type in just Google Avery certification. Do you think you would you have time that? to wrap? You know where my knees go on my BMW? Do you think mm-hmm. you'd have some time to put some black wrap right I there? I have no idea. You oh. should bring the vinyl wrap in hmm. and the motorcycle and see what happens. See what he says. Hmm. Say, hey, man. Just you never know. Day. He might do it. So, but yeah. we've got that. So Thursday's yeah. Q&A, we'll have Juan Gonzalez as our special guest. So you guys can... Ask your questions to Juan yes. or anything like that. Juan will be in here with us. And then, like we said, make sure you notify yourselves for Saturday's event. Yeah. It is on the system. It's on the YouTube channel right now. Are you guys going? That way you guys can watch it. Uh, well, I have here. to go. It's we're my gonna, car. We gotta, 
<laughs> yeah, he's got to be here. He's also going to be kind of emceeing it. And you and I yeah. got to be here because we got to well, keep this I party was, going. So I got a lot of to do on host. Saturday. I was just going to swing by. Uh, no, no, I don't, I don't think that's an option. Part oh. of the, you got to work it. So I'm yeah. working the whole day. Yeah. yeah. I'm hanging out with you guys. Yep. That's My idea. friends. Yeah. Yeah. You got to hang out here all day. And eat wow. tacos. You know what? Count me in. Oh, all right. Hey, all right. Oh, okay. So, all right. So, ladies and gentlemen, tune in for Saturday or come. Yeah. Show up and Actually, hang out. It's show Saturday up. afternoon. Drive. Bandit run. Friday night. All night. Drive. <laughs> G. Davis. You're in Virginia. Drive. Friday <laughs> if you night. start now, you'll Leave get here Leave Friday time. morning. You're retired. Yeah. Drive. Friday morning. <laughs> All night, nonstop. You'll be here by Saturday afternoon <laughs> at two o'clock. I would love for him to relive an old like uh, family vacation. Oh and man! And so, if, as, if gee, you could bring your kids with you, throw them in the car. <laughs> the they're adults. Uh, they're like, yeah, all, we all like, the adults. Work. I got to ask <laughs> and, uh, time and off. drive them up, man. Come hang out with us. You know, it'd be fun. I think you guys, yeah. uh, maybe yeah. you might make it. Here, yeah. oh. the rest, your 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 grab a boat, family. get in it, <laughs> drive it if you can. Go south. Yep. Under the Panama Canal, back up into Seattle, then transfer to a car. It's only like an eight-hour drive from yeah, Seattle that, to Boise. That's so it. just take the boat <laughs> all the way around from Puerto Rico, mm. cruise on up. Grant Hawtrey, not mm-hmm. that far away, man. Literally on the other side of Boise, the Boise, Idaho. <laughs> hit it up. You can make it by Saturday. Yeah. I want to see Ed down out there, down south. Ed, you can make it too. <laughs> yep. Come hang out with us. We can get everybody going, man. Wow. Now here's, Kirby here's Thompson, more... he's in Houston. <laughs> Kirby, that's like a 24-hour running gun, yeah. man. A more realistic take, you know? perhaps. For the folks who know someone who's not far away, and they're interested oh, in this kind of stuff, yeah. but they may not okay. be aware of us, or they may not be aware of the event, tell them about it. You know Maybe who they will show be up? here? Probably, Luke Berge. Probably Cameron Messina. Cameron ah, Messina yes. is going to be here he may as not long be as there's not right a now. baby that's popped out. I think there. if that baby even is here, I think he's still going to come. David Cervantes <laughs> says, gee, pick him up on the way. There you go. So, because remember, that's through. his wife's baby. Yes, that's right. I, Boy, that was an I awkward Carly conversation, about that. man. Like, oh. My wife's baby. You mean <laughs> your baby? Once she's yours? done with her baby. <laughs> with her baby. Oh, boy. She has our, her baby. Yeah, you mean our clarify. baby? Yeah. So All right. Funny. So uh, point is, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening. Yes, we did this on a Tuesday thinking we would have an extra guest. Unfortunately, time didn't work out. Yeah. That's just Way to go, sometimes. Morgan. We will normally be doing this on Mondays as always, but yep. stay tuned because this week we got one on the Q&A, as mentioned, and of course... This Saturday is the long, long live stream event. It's going to be going on for several hours. You can catch it right on the Rag Company yeah, get your YouTube snacks. channel. Yeah, get ready snacks. to hang out. Enjoy it. Yeah. So we'll see you then. Adios. See you guys.